Hi, I'm Jennifer Howell and I'm the founder of The Art of Elysium. We are an artist charity. In fact, we just celebrated our 17th year anniversary in August. As much as we've accomplished in the past 17 years, this is truly our genesis because we're on the cusp of a global expansion where we're looking to truly heal the world through art and through the spirit of the artists who give back to this organization. We are limited by nothing other than the spirit of artists and what you really learn from this organization is that the spirit of an artist is infinite and so the infinite possibilities to be of service in this world are what we're here to celebrate tonight. Tonight, you're going to hear from some very special people who came together to make this all happen. The genesis of Ace Hotel was friends that were in Seattle and they had a lot of artists and musician friends that would come up to visit and just kind of like ask, like, where do we stay? What do we do up here? And so that's when these friends got together and they were like, let's make a safe haven for them to stay at. The modern era of KCRW was founded by a group of intellectuals and activists. A woman named Ruth Seymour brought in artists and a whole philosophy of kind of fear no art. Mendocino County is the highest concentration of small farms in the country. The thought was that each of our ingredients can be traced back to the specific farm that it was grown. I mean, I'm a skateboarder. You know, I love clothing, I love fashion. I wanted to put something together that kind of blended into one without having to resort to the fashion brands or the skate brands that didn't really have what I wanted, so that's what Supra became. When Alternative began, it was really about this obsessive focus on the fabric. Our original founder, he worked for a very long time with a company in North Carolina, which is where I'm from, Tuscarora, which is now known as the Tribeland. This is a fabric now used all across the world. I think the spirit of environment, the important thing is that we always follow our mission and our vision. Enjoy, share and preserve is at the core of everything we do. We started Flaunt in 1997, basically out of necessity to educate and propel the arts and the art community. For me, finding KCRW was a bit like finding a downtown or a cultural center on the airwaves. There was so much exploration going on at KCRW that I just became obsessed. I think looking at things like functionality within design was definitely important in terms of evolving the brand. The unique thing that Mendocino does differently, it's very simple, it's just the idea of making the vegetarian and vegan food first and then creating the rest of the menu, because everybody else does the opposite. They had local artists come and help create the rooms and the art, which is great, because that's what we still do to this day. Flant has always been a product of the community that we live in. You wanted to find out a little bit more about all these young, new emerging people. We love the idea of bringing back that type of magazine to the community. When it comes to like driving and working and, and creating something, there's no such thing as no. There's always a way. Share your knowledge, share your passion in order to create a community around you. Mendocino's idea has always been small community. That's one of the reasons why I love the art of Alistair. 99.9% .9 of the time, if I just give an artist a chance, I'll be glad that I did. We're actually part of this community and creating this culture for different creative types. The sharing, the beauty in the unexpected, I see it as at the core of what Art of Elysium is doing. So these are all values that for us are very, very important. They guide us every day. So now, please support the Art of Elysium, not only financially, but with ideas and the creative process that all of you have with it. Genesis is our emerging artist event, and you're gonna have an amazing show tonight. But before you see that, we just wanna take a moment and thank Supra, Houston Hospitality, Alternative, Mendocino Farms, Henson Recording Studios, Environment Furniture, The Theater at Ace Hotel, Flaunt Magazine, KCRW, The Gift Horse Project, Golden Voice, and Launch Left. All of our sponsors, promoters, in-kind donors, and you, the ticket buyer.
Without all of you, tonight would not be happening. Thank you so much. I get why we use drugs and why we get sober. Because we're all looking for something, our true north. It's why we congregate, why we dance, why we crave community. But how do we cultivate it? How do we begin to build relationship, not only to each other as artists, creatives, fellow humans, but a relationship to kindness, a relationship to giving? How do we cultivate our positive qualities and inspire others to do the same? Our compass is service. Being in service is how we remind ourselves. Being in service is how we can remind each other. Being in service is how we practice it, how we cultivate it. It's the spiritual practice. It's the atheist practice. It's the religious practice. It's the memory that we are not alone. We've never been alone, and we will never be. This truth of ours echoes through lifetimes and life choices. This truth has no judgment. This truth has no jury because truth is truth and we know it. Genesis begins tonight with an intention. For every artist who struggles with addiction, for every artist who struggles with sobriety, for every artist who hopes their work resonates with others, who hopes their work means something, for every person who is suffering right now, for every person who doesn't have the luxury of enjoying a night like this, we dedicate tonight to every living being who, just like us, wonders what tomorrow brings and fears death, who, just like us, wants to be happy. Tonight, we engage our positive qualities, activate our kindness, and inspire others to do the same. Instead of blaming ourselves, others, and the world for our problems, tonight, we take responsibility and, through service, become an active part of the solution. Tonight, we acknowledge our true north, our compass that changes the way we walk toward the future. Within this seemingly insignificant night among many, may our collective aspiration be to create more kindness and positivity in the world so that when we wake up tomorrow, whether we're hungover or stone cold sober, we know that we dedicated the creative virtue of tonight to alleviate suffering for all. May the work we are now about to begin be free from all obstacles and imminent dangers, meeting with ever-growing fulfillment and success, bring good fortune, prosperity, happiness, and peace.